As devastating wildfires burn in several regions of the world, the United Nations prepares to unveil a highly anticipated report on climate change. Now, the study, which will be released on Monday, is expected to give the international community its clearest warning yet about the role of human activity on rising sea, temper sea levels and temperatures. France 24 journalist Valerie de Kemp now joins me in the studio for the details. Valerie, can you perhaps give our viewers some context on what to expect in this in this report? Right. So to put it simply, this is the most significant climate report to be published by scientists in nearly a, de a decade. 234 leading scientists from 60 countries have been working together. They have been evaluating more than 14,000 research uh, papers on climate change to produce a summary of the most up-to-date information that we have on global warming. So it's been a massive undertaking. And the first part of that report that is set to be published by the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, also known as IPCC in climate jargon, will focus on the science behind global warming. So the last time such a report was published was back in uh, 2013. And the reason why it's so important, it, it's because it will it could have a major impact on how world leaders will tackle climate change in the years to come. The IPCC was actually created in the 80s to assess all the information that we have and to provide uh, you know, the most kind of relevant information for governments to really tackle climate change. So policymakers will receive a 40-page report, a summary of this report, and this will be a key document, I would even say mandatory reading for anyone attending uh, COP26, the UN Climate Summit in Glasgow later in November, and many calling this uh, COP26, COP26 the most important climate summit since COP21 when the Paris Agreement was signed. So really we have this major climate report coinciding with a major climate summit coming up pretty soon. And Valerie, this is not going to be the first time that we are confronted with what's likely to be a rather bleak assessment of the role of human behavior on climate change, on those rising temperatures. We've been seeing wildfires, extreme weather. What is expected to be new and right. special about this report? Completely. I mean, what's different, I would say, with this report, perhaps, is that there have been major improvements in the science, which means that climate uh, scientists, they have developed uh, models that are a lot more sophisticated, a lot more precise. So this report will tell us how carbon dioxide emissions have been rising, where they're coming from. It's also going to tell us about temperature and uh, rainfall patterns, but with a level of precision, perhaps, that we haven't seen before uh, in the past. Also, what's very interesting to me in this report is that uh, there's going to be a new chapter linking extreme weather events to rising temperatures. And this could be a major development because what experts call attribution science, the, you know, the ability to link extreme weather events to global warming has, it's been like a field of science that's been put on the margins, has never really been part of the official discussion before. So the fact that this could be in the report would be a major development because, you know, we know that extreme weather events are becoming more frequent, but we don't, I mean, scientists are not always able to conclude with a certain level of certainty Right. This is because of, of global temperatures rising. Uh, we could also, we should also be expecting uh, updates on uh, temperature projections and how uh, the world would change with 1.5 degrees of warming or 2 degrees of warming. And, but there is a big question mark over whether there's going to be a specific mention to the temperature targets uh, decided under the Paris Agreement, because officially under the Paris Agreement, governments uh, decided to limit global warming to 2 degrees Celsius. Ideally, Ideally, 1.5 degrees Celsius. Now, the 1.5 ideal has become sort of the official, I mean, not officially, it's become the new target, but not officially. So what's going to be interesting to see is if there's a specific mention on that target. And if there is, if, you know, uh, the IPCC says, hold on, now we really should be moving to 1.5 as opposed to 2 degrees, that would be really a game changer. And I'm sure we're all going to be expecting, after seeing the report, of course, Valerie, the solutions that will come of, of that exactly. report. Exactly. So now we have the first part is about the science, and then later in the year we're going to see the part two about the, the, the consequences, and then part three, the solutions. Right. And that is what we will <laughs> all be eagerly awaiting. Valerie yes. DeKimp, thank you for that update.